Mother Nature has a way of achieving balance. The same holds true for hunters who wish to reap the benefits of her bounty. Chris Kiefer has watched her achieve this balance firsthand over the past two seasons. Last year, Chris started the rut on a hunting high and he never came down. With tags to fill, he sat with his bow in search of Lone Star, a mid-160s bruiser. The stars aligned and Lone Star made his last mistake. Lone Star. That's the Lone Star buck. Whew. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful deer. Beautiful buck. Later that season, Chris began his pursuit of tiny, a mature buck that scored 153 inches. He slipped into Tiny's territory with his tradition's muzzleloader. He found Tiny in a cut cornfield with a lone doe. The doe turned out to be this eight points weakness and ultimately the death of Tiny. Look at this buck. Huh? Is he not something? <laughs> Look at Tiny. Not so tiny anymore. Look at him. Wow. I got him in my hands. That is a long time coming right there. Oh, the striker fire just pummeled him right there. With his Illinois tags punched, Chris took his luck to Ohio to see what the Buckeye State had to offer. What he found was an old management buck who had fooled many hunters in his time. But he wouldn't fool Chris Kiefer. Chris piled up the Buckeye Patriarch and punched his third tag of the year. buck is oh sweet deer look at the mass on him how cool is that heavy buck just an old management type deer that's what we're looking to shoot right there you know just something that's old that I can get out of the herd uh, that's not gonna breed and this deer is definitely an old buck and he's just got tons of mass on him so Look at this characteristics. He's got this little drop situation going on right here. Big brows, real big bases right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's an old management deer, and that's what we're looking to take out this late in the season. Oh, what a buck. Every hunter hopes to carry good luck from one season to the next, but sometimes the balance just has to be restored. 
In the whitetail woods, sometimes nature's most uplifting traits can be her most disappointing. It seems as if the tides that rolled in during last season have rolled back out, leaving Chris high and dry. He became consumed with Optimus Prime, but Optimus Prime had other plans. I'm playing another game of chess with a deer called Optimus. It's a big 10, mainframe 10, just a stud, old buck. I think I've got him located and pinpointed him in his bedroom. I uh, hung this stand today, so I'm doing the old hang and bang, the old hashtag hang and bang right there. And I'm in it, and I've already seen it. some does walk through with a small hard box so I mean, I'm in, I'm in the chips. I think now it's just a matter of putting my time in before gun season. Optimus, my turn. The frustration continued to build during Chris's toughest season to date. The weather refused to cooperate and the predators moved in to Chris's hunting grounds. Chris's two weeks worth of sitting in search of Optimus Prime unveiled clues to what was happening in the Whitetail Woods. Young bucks started to flood the property, and Chris's obsession bucks were nowhere to be found. His hit listers went nocturnal and moved off the property. Chris made a decision to follow a cold front to Ohio, hoping to leave his woes behind him. The conditions were right, and on the first morning, Chris was face to face with a nice buck. Buck had growing left to do, so Chris gave him a pass. He moved his stand as the snow began to fall in Ohio, and his relocation led him to an encounter that Chris will never forget. Coming, coming, here. Shooter. Unsure of his shot, Chris decided not to push the buck, so he let him lay through a sleepless night. He spent the following day searching for his buckeye ten point. His track was off to a good start with a solid blood trail. Eventually, the blood dried up and the trail went cold.
playing the footage of a shot, Chris could see that the arrow hit high, penetrating a non-lethal location between his vitals and his spine. The deer was never recovered. Weeks later, the deer showed up on a Reconyx trail camera with nothing but a scar to remind him of the day he took a round out of Chris Kiefer.